One thing you see here at Web Summit is a lot of women. And here at this Women in Tech Lounge, we see only women. There's almost no men here, except maybe some venture capitalist, which basically is getting a pitch. Now, how did they do that? One, they made a very aggressive card uh, uh, ticketing uh, program because normally the prices here are about 800, 400 if you do uh, an early bird and women pay 72 bucks. So that is a real nice 90% discount on the thing. And so here we see the, the Women in Tech Lounge and it's uh, sponsored by Booking.com. Let's see if we can find some background information. So we're here in Lisbon Web Summit and one of the most interesting program was the Women in Tech. And last year it was announced that men need to pay $800 for a ticket and women $72. And that had a great, uh, that had a great increase. We see women everywhere. So Emma, you are sponsors, Booking.com, of this program. What, what did it inhale? What, what, what is Women in Tech program? Well, I can't speak about what Web Summit are doing because yeah. that's something they're doing. They're uh, actually allowing a lot of women to come here, which is, as, as you see, there are a lot of women here. Yeah. Um, but were you here last year? We weren't, no. Um, yeah. not well, there is a world. lot more women this year. We may make it 10 times cheaper for women and they will show up. So that is one yeah, good thing. Exactly. And uh, what, are, what is your program here? We so, so I can speak a little bit more to what we're doing. Yeah. We're sponsoring the Women in Tech Lounge. So it's just a lovely space for women to come and network and get mentored. We have a mentorship program running at the back where people can have one-on-one -on -one sessions with women from technology, from booking.com, but also external mentors, female CEOs, and really inspiring people. Um, so we're offering that. We're also inviting people just to join the conversation in general about how important mentorship is for uh -huh. women in technology. And it um, doesn't matter if you're male or female mentors, I mean, just a mentoring program. I think it's most important, actually, that everyone sees that mentorship is a role for everyone to play, not yeah. just for women. Yeah. It's not just about women helping other women. It's about companies helping women. It's about men also joining the conversation. Thank you. We can help women, too. Or we can stop harassing them or just uh, making their life miserable. Yeah. Uh, or, do positive, yes. or do positive things, yeah. Yeah, positive yeah. things are better than harassment. Yeah. Now, Booking.com is led by a female CEO, uh, right? So uh, how is diversity inside Booking? Um, we're doing pretty well. Um, we're at about 20% diversity in terms of female to men ratio. That sounds very low. And uh, what about, um, are these women maybe doing communication, marketing, HR, or are they doing hardcore coding? And are they doing, uh, are they master of sales? So the stats that I just gave you are from our tech department. Oh. Overall, we're actually at about 60% women in the company as a whole. We actually have more women than men in the overall company. Ah, okay. um, so we're doing pretty well. We can do more, which is why we like to sponsor. 20% of like the this. coders are female? Uh, our tech team encompasses everything from UX design to coding, oh, yeah. etc. Okay, well, 20% in the tech is really good, and 60% overall is really. Uh, Good. You have a huge service department, right? That's also a lot of yeah. people. Uh, how many people in booking nowadays? 15,000 yeah. and growing. 15,000. And how many of those are in Amsterdam? Um, yeah, good question. Think. Can't tell you, but it is. I think about 8,000 or something like that. We have a huge. Uh, we have a huge. We have six I mean, offices currently. Yeah. yeah, you have six offices, so you really do. Okay, so what has your experience been, you know, talking to women here? Uh, I mean, how well is tech in women uh, developing? Um, Really well, that's a big question. I can talk about my experience today. Yes. Um, we've had a lot of really inspiring, amazing women come and share their stories. They really love that they've been invited here. They love that they've been able to come. They love that there's a space for them to come and have these conversations. Yeah. And we're also asking everyone to share their story in our lovely video booth behind you, uh -huh. which uh, we're inviting them to say thank you to someone who's mentored or inspired them. Um, so we're also hoping to show the impact that mentorship has. Thank you, Emily. Appreciate it. So one of the women which is at the uh, Women in Tech booth is Josephine from Sweden. What is your product? Is it just shoes, right? Yeah, this is Andrew. So Andrew is the world's first fully transparent animal supply chain. And this may seem like a strange word. It's kind of because I invented it. Yeah. It is the first footwear ever to be fully traceable back to the... Exercise. I have a number on there. I can type it in my phone and I can see exactly how the, how the uh, animal was doing. Exactly, correct. Great. Hey, you were here on the Women in Tech booth. Uh, how did you like it and why did you come here? Well, we uh, went to the Women in Tech just because we signed up with the Facebook group before, yeah. where you prepare for the Web Summit. And also, a lot of people in Women in Tech have been here before, and it's a great place to exchange. And um, they help you and mentor you? and. Well, not mentor, but you kind of like exchange uh, what to see and what not to see during summits. Yeah, yeah. And also, did they help you with relationships who would be interesting for you? 
Well, due, through the group, we have connected with a lot of people, so we have some meetings going on in here. Okay. So there's a nice women in tech organization, and everybody helps each other. Really useful.